That's so sad. I would like Garrus back, please. Man, don't get me wrong, I am very excited to have Liara here. But I miss Reginald. And I miss Garrus. Oh no, and I'm gonna go miss Thane now too! Uh. I know that's not his coffee cup, but still. Oh! Apparently they're just leaving my models all over the place. Mm. This is gonna be super depressing. I can't even go to the men's restroom. <laughs> oh, Kasumi. Oh, but they put this in. Oh, I bet the crew would have liked this. Oh, it would have been nice. There's no one eavesdrop on. There's no conversations. How do they even get up into those beds? There's no laughter. Can we just like go in here? Can we turn the shower on? No. Rip. No, Samara. Ugh, right in the fields. I, I miss my friends. This is very sad. Do this one first. Oh, um, this is an upgrade at least. <laughs> How's your new assignment working out, Alars? Fairly normal, except for the unshackled AI, Matriarch Benezia's daughter, and the communicator that can reach Earth. The first two, I can deal with. That last one gets my attention. So what are you asking for exactly? Anything from Earth is the lead story right now. That's not opinion, it's fact. Maybe I can pass on a few non-classified progress updates. Seriously? You just doubled my ratings. I don't need FaceTime, just a data upload. Oh, I get to pick now. I think the overarching issue is definitely to garner enough support so we can address the Reaper issue. Tell people what's really happening on Earth. We need long recruiting lines on every planet after you air a story. I can do this, Commander. Remind me to tell you about the time I made an Elcor cry. What? Why would I want you to do that? Why would you... Why would you make an Elcor cry? I'm trying to figure out where she would need to be standing given the way that her lights are pointed. She would... Benefit from a ring light, honestly. Just saying. I like how there's just a ton of crates, containers, whatever those are. Can I talk to her again? Commander. Okay. <gasps> oh, we can't even go into the room where Grant was. Our baby. I hope he grew up well. Oh. No, Jack. Oh, there are lots of models just chilling out. Wait, what is that? 
Wait, what is it? What is it? Wait. 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 Fuck, I don't know when the last auto save was. <laughs> we gotta do it though. This is gonna hurt. So where were we last? Oh fuck. Are you for fucking real? Wait, wait. Look at your computer, Shepard. Let me click this. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay, so we've already read all these. It's fine. Oh, I gotta let it sit on there for a second. Ooh, that hurts. That was a lot of time. Shit, what did I do? Oh my god, we have literally everything to do all over again. But let's handle that first. And then I'll go and and fix everything. Hold on, let me make myself a note. I'll fix everything after the stream. Cause <laughs> pretty sure that's Reginald. And I need that. I need that boy. So I'll go and talk to basically everyone on levels two through three. Okay. So let's go to engineering. I'm gonna save. So we don't have to do that again. Okay. I'm gonna be ready this time. Okay, grabbing this. Hold on, no. Where is he? <gasps> come here, come here little boy, come here. Did I get him? <gasps> yes! Yes, 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 yes! Mm, we have the baby! We have the boy! We have him! He's in our pocket! The baby, my baby, it just jumped up and booped to the side of my desk. He's very excited that we, we have Reginald back. I'm gonna go put him in my room! I love how I literally just like tossed an hour's worth of playtime out the window because we had to go save Reginald. Look, everybody calm down, it'll be fine. It'll be fine, I'll handle it later. This is definitely more important. Baby! <laughs> oh. oh, I'm so happy. All is right with the world. Oh, Bay is on the ship. We found Reginald running around in the bottom of the engineering bay thing. Baby, what were you doing down there? What have you been eating? I'm just glad he's okay. Jesus shit. <sighs> okay, let's go talk to the actual people who live here. So we did starboard cargo. Okay, so. Oh. It's not his fault. Big vibrady boy. All right, we'll talk to this man. Commander, welcome back to the Normandy. Or maybe you should be saying that to me. Engineer Adams, what are you doing here? I was put in charge of the drive core retrofits. My experience on the Normandy SR-1 made me an obvious choice. So? What do you think of our SR-2? 
She's incredible. If there's one nice thing I can say about Cerberus, it's that they know how to build a ship. And about that, Cerberus, I mean. I owe you an apology. How so? Back when you got this ship, Dr. Chalk was contacting me, asking me to help with your mission against the Collectors. I refused. I didn't have your back, and I'm sorry for that. There was probably a reason, but I appreciate it. Why didn't you join us? I saw what happened to you when the Normandy went down. I didn't trust that it was really you, and I certainly didn't trust Cerberus. Also, as an officer of the Alliance, I don't just leave my post, you know? Your Alliance first. That's the way it should be. Thank you, Commander. Glad to be aboard. So, I did not remember this man. I just miss uh, Tally and um, not so much Kenneth, but <laughs> but I will miss the camaraderie. Is your family okay? My parents are serving on Viridian Zenith, an Alliance agricultural vessel. My sister is a navigator on the SSV Benjamin Davis. Happy to report that both vessels are safely under Hackett's command. Does the new Normandy stack up to the old SR-1? <laughs> stack up. It blows the old ship away. The Tantalus drive core has been completely overhauled. The SR-2 might be nearly twice the size, but the new drive core is three times bigger. This ship can fly. That said, Cerberus isn't too high on safety. If pushed past her limits, this core would vent into engineering. Guess it gives my team incentive to keep her well balanced during a firefight. Jeez. Do your job or get vaporized. Pretty much. I noticed you upgraded the kinetic barriers with cyclonic technology. Should help reduce the draw when under missile fire. Hopefully that means fewer vaporized engineers. The IES stealth system is significantly improved. It can handle a higher blue shift of our emissions. And that means? <laughs> we should be able to drop out of FTL without triggering every sensor in range. Very handy for stealth reconnaissance. All in all, the Normandy is a marvel of engineering. I'm glad you like it. What do you think of Edie? We had a good talk during the retrofit. A little strange at first, talking shop with an AI. AI? I thought Edie posed as a VI to keep the likes of you from unplugging her. Yeah, but I saw through her. Have you seen her hardware? Processing power is off the charts. And then there were the problems that kept fixing themselves. If I hadn't had her pegged, I would have sworn I was losing it. You never expressed any skepticism, Lieutenant Adams. I figured I'd better play it safe with the Cerberus AI, Edie. No offense. None taken. As long as you keep your fingers out of my cognizance processors. <laughs> In the beginning, I tried disconnecting her from key processes without giving myself away. Easier said than done. But Joker seemed to trust her, and in time I saw her advantages. Even grew to like her. That's adorable. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, ma'am. Uh, Miss Tally, though. Okay, let me make sure I got everything and I wasn't just super hyped to have from Reginald. Because that would definitely be a me move. I would just be jazzed about Reginald didn't forget to grab the other things. Okay, good, good, good. So, oops, wrong way. I th there was another floor though, right? Yeah. Oh, we have the armory again. Like we did in the first one. Another location <laughs> that Gira should be. Oh! Oh, this is cool. <gasps> oh, look! Oh, look! It, it gives me like a schematic of what it's good at. Nice! These are the ones I've got on me, I'm assuming? Can I... Oh, I can change. So I had the predator. Oh my god, and it even tells me how they compare. Wow, that's a huge 
huge quality of life upgrade. That is wild. Oh shit. The other one's really low on damage. All right, so are these different? They are. So it's what type of gun? Nifty. That's really cool. I like that a lot. Oh, I, I clearly don't want to lose it. Oh, we didn't have one selected. Cool. A blood pack puncher. Minimal damage, though. It just fires really quickly. Accuracy's shit, though. But that looks like the trade off. Capacity. I don't really care about weight. I care about damage and accuracy for the most part. Let's do that one. Can I do? I can't do mods. Oh, I can. <gasps> I can't. This is very cool. Wow. This is really cool. I don't really give a fuck about crafting, but this. <gasps> wow. This is really nifty. <gasps> okay, so shotgun shredder mod allows bullets to pierce. Can I? So this is the only one. This is the katana. What is this? This is a submachine? No, this is shotgun. Yeah, shotgun shredder mod. Cool. Allows bullets to pierce 0.25 meter thick objects, but at 60% reduced damage. Mmm. Mmm. Don't necessarily love that. Oh, that's gonna pump up our damage. But it's not gonna, it doesn't look like it's reducing it here. Let's just do that for now, confirm. Fucking cool. Can I do? Uh, it doesn't have mods yet. So what are these? Assault rifles. Oh, look, weight does matter because we can only carry a certain amount. Very nifty. So I guess, to a degree, sometimes you wouldn't want to carry things that you're not going to use. Because you might want better weapons, but they might be too heavy. This is really cool. Ooh, look at the damage on that one. It's very heavy, though. But I can modify it. Look at it. <laughs> so cool. And then it pumps up our damage even more. Give it to me. I just, I just. So things that are. What happens when we put something that's too heavy in there? Do, are we just slowed down? Which is the one that we currently have? This one? Oh, it's a Cerberus one. Okay, well, uh... Oh, power recharge speed, negative 200. Um, that sounds like a really bad deal for me. So, I don't really use an assault rifle ever. So what happens if I just don't equip one? <gasps> wait, wait, it really fucks my speed regardless. Okay, so it needs to be under half. Submachine, shotguns, and a heavy pistol. I don't... We'll just keep these for now. We'll keep these for now. And if anyone has any strong opinions, I can deal with those later. Cool. That was really cool. Wow. Mass Effect 3 just fucking pulling out the stops. Why are y'all hiding 
all of my model ships. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. <gasps> it's a little Fenris bot. <gasps> it's a baby. He's sleeping. Can I play you? Oh, it's a her, excuse me. Because we spoke with the owner. Wow, they did a really good job. Like, don't get me wrong. Oh. See, these must be the ones that I had previously. That I just pick up because I had them previously. They did a really good job on fleshing out some bits that we needed and didn't have, but I'm sad we lost some things like, you know, Morden's place and, I mean, from the looks of it, also Jacob's. Lieutenant Steve Cortez, shuttle pilot. Got news about our supply chains, Commander. Cool, thank you. Nice to meet you, Lieutenant. What's going on? Sorry to just jump in, Commander. There's so much to be done, I get caught up in the tasks at hand. He's always like that. You need to chill out, Esteban. So you do care, Mr. Vega? Or is that the Cerveza talking again? So what's happening with our supply chains, Lieutenant? Alliance procurement chains are in chaos, but the Citadel's economy is still running. I can network to Citadel retailers. You can view inventory and make purchases right from this console. When I network to a new store, I'll let you know. It does cost more to coordinate delivery to the Normandy, so it's cheaper to buy supplies when you're there. Okay. So... You're my shuttle pilot, but you're setting up procurement chains? I wasn't assigned as Normandy's pilot. Not much need for one on a dry dock ship. I was overseeing the retrofit of the cargo hold. I'm quite familiar with the operation and maintenance of the UT-47 Kodiak and the M-44 Hammerhead. In my experience, it made sense for me to take over as shuttle pilot when we left Earth. Especially given Mr. Vega's love of mid-air collision. <laughs> to save the day, pendejo! Dang. I'm also responsible for logistics, making sure the armory and shuttle are properly stocked and maintained. No Mako, just a hammerhead. Do you maintain this armory? I share that duty with our illustrious Mr. Vega. Though I believe the only weapon he really cares to maintain is himself. You know you love the show, Esteban. <laughs> the first retrofit we did was to move the armory down from deck two. I'm not sure what Cerberus engineers were thinking. Now you get off the elevator, pick your gear, and head right into the shuttle. That's fair. Just like the original Normandy. Mm-hmm. Welcome back to the Alliance, Commander. How long have you been with the Alliance? About ten years. I enlisted in First Fleet serving on the SSV Hawking, flying F-61 Tridents mostly. I love the Trident. It practically dances in low atmo. I spent as much time tinkering on my bird as flying her. Got a bit of a reputation. So you can fly fighters and fix them? Yeah. And I got a knack for procurement, too. They were grooming me for CAG, but my skill set made me more valuable commanding a flight deck. They assigned me to the Normandy retrofit team about five months ago to oversee all cargo bay modifications. What happened to the M44 Hammerhead? <laughs> it was sent to the tech labs for a retrofit. To afford mobility with such a small ESO core? It's design sacrificed armor plating. The lab engineers are trying to improve that. After the Reaper invasion, those labs are probably just a pile of rubble. Mm. The Kodiak seems a bit different. Good eyes, Commander. This is the UT-47A Kodiak. It's got an upgraded ESO core and prototype stealth technology based on the Normandy design. For quick drops, I can get you in and out virtually undetected. She flies like a brick, so that's why you need a good pilot. You were stationed on Earth. Do you have family there? I'm an only child. Lost my parents years ago. I had a husband back when I was stationed at Ferris Fields. The collectors took out the whole colony. I'd rather not talk about it. Oh my god. I'm thankful for the representation, which is why I got excited. Not at the fact that his husband uh, got taken by the collectors. Ugh. Keep up the hard work, but don't kill yourself. Yes, Commander. Oh, Shep, that's... Oh, that's not how you should have ended that conversation. Ugh. Okay, so we've got metagel upgrades. Shotgun, pistol, sniper rifle, and assault rifle mods. Very cool. 
Spectre requisitions. Yeah, yeah. Let's look at that one. Oh, that's what we couldn't get. Wait, wait, wait. No. I want to open. Oh, so there's stores already been to. Oh, shit. Oh. Ah. Uh, don't like. Oh. Oh, but stats. It's good stats. Oh. Oh, I need that. <laughs> the meme should be circulating by now. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm not going to fuck with any of these just yet, but I'm glad they're here. Weapon upgrades. Ooh. So when I figure out which weapons I like, I'll probably come back to this. Probably won't do it too terribly much because I am really biotics heavy, but. Oh, this was the really cool weapon sponge. I really liked that. That was very, very nifty. Man, they just like threw all my shit around. Hold on, let me look around before we get to Vega. I like her haircut. Okay, we can actually get in over there or see the inside of it. Well, I guess that's the hatch, but. Mm. Ooh, the Normandy SR1. Hey, can I have it, please? That was weird. Thank you. Is there anything back there that I need? No. All right, big guy, what's up? Hey, Shepard. How'd it go with the council? Same as usual. Non-committal. Unhelpful. Bet they still wanted you to help them out, no? Mm-hmm. Yep. We're going to rescue a Turian Primarch from Palavan. <sighs> Sounds like fun. Never been to the Turian homeworld. Me either. <sighs> you come down here for something? Or are you just looking? <sighs> Liara is literally upstairs. It's my ship. I go where I want and talk to whoever I want. Fair enough. Not sure what there is to talk about. You already know my service record. I don't, actually. I didn't have access to personnel records when we met. Right. Forgot about that. Well... Think you can dance and talk at the same time? Oh, I can dance. Okay, Lola. Let's do this. Fuck him up, Shepard. Don't let my good looks fool you, Vega. I got my share of scars. <laughs> you remind me of my old CO. Oh, yeah? And who was that? Captain Tony. He was a hard-ass son of a bitch, but a good leader. Was? Died. With most of my squad. Protecting a civilian colony from a collector attack. In the colony? It was either them or the intel we had on the collectors. Intel we could have used to destroy them. I chose the intel. Sorry. That's a tough call. The best part was we didn't really need the intel in the end. Because you were out saving the galaxy by taking down the entire collector homeworld. You didn't know. You can't blame yourself, Vega. Who says I'm blaming myself? Just 
to guess. You shrink too? No, but that stunt back on Mars was reckless. You're lucky to be alive. So? So. Maybe you don't care if you live or die. Or maybe. <clears throat> I'm just willing to do whatever the fuck it takes to end this goddamn war. Woo! Maybe you are. But if you're half as good as I think you are, we need you alive. Thanks for the pep talk. Anytime. Hey. Thanks for the dance, Lola. Is this flirty? I'm gonna pull up chat real quick. If I pick this, is it flirty? Okay, good. Closing chat again. Thank you for your assistance. Lola, huh? You kind of look like a Lola. <laughs> You're cute. So I'll let you get away with it. For now. That's it. Now you made me blush. You lied to me. You lied. I'm never trusting you again. I'm just gonna look it up on my phone. All right, that's everything in here. Oof, puppy. I want her to wake up. All right. I'm so happy that we have Reginald. Like, holy shit. I'm so relieved that we have the Reginald. I think, hold on, let's go and see before we end end. Let's go see how many of the ships we have left. Okay, so I'm still missing one. So it has to be in the ship somewhere, maybe in one of the areas I already was. Um, Cause I know we were missing two in Mass Effect 2. So this one over here on the left side, we've got one of those and we'll just, I will go grab it um, when I loop back and take care of everything that we already did. Wow. Oh, what a baby. Mm. <laughs> I don't think I've ever reloaded a save so fast in my life. I didn't even think about how much game time we were going to lose. I was just like, well, here's where we are. <laughs> it was worth it. So, if you don't grab him, is he just gone forever? Oh no, you can get him again? Okay. I was afraid, and so I did what we had to do. I was very afraid. <laughs> <laughs> I did make the hard choices. <laughs> oh, man. Our sweet baby. Sweet little boy. Speaking of, where's my sweet little boy? There he is. Hey, Nugget. He just looked at me and then started to lick his feet. Yeah, no, I don't even have chat up when I'm playing at this, at this um, point. Like I literally minimize and we I only have it up like at the beginning of the stream, at the end of the stream, and then when we have our break. Oh, the best part is I get to do the Liara stuff again. I'm excited about that. I feel bad though, because we have very like wishy washy relationship. 
with does it, is it like that for uh, don't tell me don't tell me I want to be able to play the other romances I'm like thinking out loud and I don't actually want answers to those questions <sighs> yeah hopefully I can play it through without Shepard staring off into the distance this time okay that makes sense I was just very worried I've been burned many times Oh, thank you. Oh, I forgot about my boba. Thank you. I forgot about it. Let me share with Merlin. You can have the rest of it, baby. <laughs> he just did a little fist bump. <laughs> yes, yes. Chat credibility is restored. <laughs> also, very quickly. Oh, of course, Cal. Thank you for hanging out. I appreciate it. I hope you have good sleeps. Val number two. So Val Simon, thank you very much for being so kind and generous with our community. I, I appreciate you. That's very, very sweet. That's, that's my favorite thing to see from you guys. All right. Hit me up, Zigger. What you got? Oh, Legion, have a great night, sweetie. Go plug in and play some some WoW. Ah, uh, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> I'm about platonic flirting. Don't get me wrong. I just didn't assume that the game would incorporate it. Who's cooler, Steve Cortez or James Vega? Hmm. But you do healing support stuff. You gotta do MMOs for that. Well, I guess you can do it in other things like League of, League, of, blah, 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 League of Legends. Yeah, have a good night, you guys. Um. If I'm understanding correctly, Cortez was the other individual we met who does the shuttles, correct? Okay. Oh, foul number two. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Good. Then, um, uh, Vegas not necessarily my cup of tea. Uh, I'm not into the big burly men who just want to like smash things with their fists because their brain is made of meat. Um. It's just not my personal thing that has no impact on like how good of a character he is, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so I'm, I prefer Cortez for the moment. Like he's funny and sarcastic and shit and that's great. But, oh, I just gave Merlin all my tea. <laughs> May I have a sip, please? <laughs> he's already downed half of what I gave him. God, alpha male is such a gross term. That's been disproven. You should look that shit up. Um, Lola is an interesting nickname. I, I like nicknames. You know me. So I'm not, not about it. Hold on, let me make sure I've gotten... Oh, shit, we had to do codex entries. I forgot about codex entries. Shit, everybody was already... Yeah, exactly, Zarg, exactly. Loco and Lola. Interesting. Really? I'll keep an open mind. Clearly, clearly I've been very open to changing my mind previously. Thane didn't necessarily strike me as anyone interesting initially. And and look at where we are now. <laughs> so <laughs> So I'm definitely open to change. I like to judge the characters as they appear. And so when we get more on him, we're going to have our opinion changed, right? Oh, God. Frat boy Iron Bull. 
Oh, he does? We'll get that um, when we go back. I'll leave us there so I know to go and get that again. Yeah. I mean, he fucking looks like a tank. Jesus. Oh, absolutely. It's just rough because I don't know how much of that's going to translate over from Paragon Lost to this character. Because even when um, in the Mass Empire, Solus plays a tiny part in it. And he's very, very different than what he is in the actual game. So I'm always somewhat skeptical. It is really interesting because he kind of gives us a hard time. It may just be joking and like a, a means of camaraderie. But, like, um, yeah, I was kind of shocked that he wasn't more, I don't know, putting us on a pedestal. No, and you're right, Loon, because it's a, a definite progression in character development, and it feels like you're getting to know them. And I like that. I do like that a lot. Yeah, it'll. I'm definitely. I I'm going with an open mind on all of these. You guys, no worries. Like, uh, just because there's a, I had to make a choice between Cortez and Vega for a question does not mean that I don't like him. That I'm not going to give him a chance, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Yeah, I like Edie. Also, weird robot lady is still in Legion spot. Don't like that. What is Cerberus fucking doing? Oh my god. Also a gross word. <laughs> Animals are studs. Like a horse. It's, it's, it's breeding stock term. Let's not use that for people, y'all. That would be awkward. He did roll max in strength. That's his, that is where his concentration is. But what's his dump stat? I want to know what his dump stat is. It really is an evergreen. Oh, it's wisdom. Wisdom's his dump stat. Nice. I mean, charisma is a valid one, too. Oh, he's a hothead? Yeah. Just because men like being called studs doesn't mean it's appropriate or tasteful or anything other than disgusting. Gross. <laughs> oh, is he really? I'll, I will keep an, an eye out for that. Exactly. When I stat my characters out i always have like a separate stat for appearance because i don't like charisma and appearance to be the same thing <laughs> i do like how space mom confirmed her mom status it is precious and wonderful and i love how she's like so ready to be here and do things with us it's great it's wholesome as shit Oh, is Freddie Prince Jr.? Oh, no wonder they're making Iron Bowl comparisons. That makes sense. That's a really good point, SD Pod. That appearance is subjective because not everybody finds the same things attractive. That's a really good point. I always play elves, so I just assume everyone <laughs> thinks elves are attractive. <laughs> oh, we were good night, honey. Thank you for hanging out. Aw. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. And yeah, dwarves definitely like, and I would just consider my stat like null, my appearance stat null when dealing with things like dwarves who would not find an elf attractive. I mean, maybe you only apply the stat if it's applicable to that individual. 
Maybe that's a good way to deal with that. Ooh. I didn't realize that was a thing in Cyberpunk Rad. That's very cool to have your grooming appearance stat and then a speech stat, which is definitely the way I like to play it for the charisma and appearance separate. Dagna is so wholesome. <laughs> Cheese over here reading my mind. I love dark elves. The drow. <laughs> yeah, I don't find Dagna attractive. Um, but God, she's adorable and precious. She's so cute. Like sweet puppy cute. You know what I mean? Yeah, I played a little bit of Cyberpunk Red. We didn't get very far. Um, I played a, a rocker boy and it was great. Uh, she has the best dialogue. Good night, Cardamon. Like, she has, I think, the last episode that I put out for Dragon Age, the one that we did on yesterday, actually, has her initial dialogue in it. And God, she's so precious. So cute. Yeah. I haven't played too terribly much cyberpunk. I played maybe a few hours, and I spent most of that time reading. Like, I started off in Corpo and I literally sat down at V's computer and read every website that she could access in her browser. It was a whole lot. Pinkquisition, I am a fan of. All right. Venom. Which one? Yeah. Oh, that's amazing, Zarg. Yes. Spread the Dragon Age love. No worries. Um, if you do exclamation mark Pocky or exclamation mark Bentel, it'll give you the options. And that'll let you guys um, see what, what's available. Because the Bento were the little candies and the Pocky is clearly Pocky. Good night up front. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah, sure thing. Ugh. Oops, wrong one. Strawberry. Hey guys, don't forget, if you enjoy this video, consider letting me know. Leave a like, subscribe, or even become a Patreon, where you can get access to unpublished videos, group gaming with me, and exclusive live streams in voice chat. Okay, thanks, bye. Yo, I'm so excited about DA4, but I'm also very terrified. I don't want bad things to happen to my boyfriend. Oh, wasabi. <laughs> Ooh, a spell blade would be so cool. Almost like a blade singer. All right. Let me munch on this one really quick. Oh, good night, Harbinger. You said chocolate. I am already very heavily invested. In GA4, so I'm very afraid. I'm so afraid. Oh, I don't want to play as a human either. Ugh. That would be upsetting. <gasps> Hello, good sir. You heard me crinkle. What are my thoughts on Shepard's dream? <sighs> Mind fuckery. I think she's torturing herself for what's been going on. And I think it's very normal and natural. 
And I'm really glad that we get to see it. Sorry. Oh, you can see a child. His tail. Oh, <gasps> baby. Oh, God, he's falling. Um, I'm really, really glad they're putting trauma in the game like that because I think it's very important to remember the impact that these decisions have. And not just like, oh, we saved Earth, yay. But like what it's doing to Shepard as a person. <laughs> what are you doing? Don't lay on Reginald. What? This little boy slept too much today. He's going to be a brat baby tonight. Yeah. See, I see a lot of people saying that, and we definitely will in Dragon Age 4, just because that's what they've been doing this whole time. But I desperately want to play as my Lavellan. That's that's a really good point, Lilith. To have more control over the reactions to the trauma. Yeah. This baby is over here being so cute. Oh, you can kind of see his feet. He's just letting me rub on his face. He's just sitting there soaking all the love in. <laughs> nah, nuggets of freeloading, baby boy. We literally found him in our yard. Yeah, CD Rex, I agree. I'm so worried. I've invested so deeply, heavily in my Lavellan. I, I'm going to be really upset if if there's not something we can do for her. God, I have so much reputation with Solus. Like, you can't just like dump her off on the side of the road. <sighs> oh no, Zara, that's a terrible joke. Terrible. Shame. Shame. Yeah. I would like to see the warden come back. That would be cool. I do love Morrigan, my baby. She's my favorite cosplay. Like, I've cosplayed other things that I really love, like Bryce. Um, if you haven't read Crescent City, you should do yourself a favor and do that. But Morrigan is, putting her on is just my favorite. I love her so much. Oh, you can see his tiny noggin. Mmm, that's fair. That would be really cool. Oh, we have a tea? I'm sorry, I didn't see. May I have another sip, baby love? Thank you very much. Hmm. Thank you. Sorry, sometimes I can't catch those. If chat's moving too quickly. And I love the way that the queue for redemptions adds new ones to the bottom and not the top. I guess it's because they want you to do the sooner ones. Are the ones that have... Are you okay, baby? The ones that have been longer first, but... Oh, <gasps> you can't eat that, actually. Good Lord. I don't know if y'all can hear him crunching. May I have another, please? Can you just hand me that water that's over there to your left? Thank you very much. I appreciate it. You hear him crunch? Crunching, baby. Tiny. <laughs> oh, that's old water. <laughs> Little boy. You wanna? Oh, did you hear Jazzy? 
Yeah, we got some good pictures of Jazzy up in uh, in pet pictures today. Yes, sir. What do you need? You little nugget brat. Nugget baby boy. GTA 5? I remember watching Merlin play it and I hated it. <laughs> I don't remember why. I feel like it was really... Oh, Shiva, thank you. Um, Why did I hate it? That might have been why it was the sociopath simulator. That might be why I just hated all the characters. Oh, Murder Hobo Dream. These all sound like reasons why I would dislike it. Yeah. And I mean, like, if you guys like the game, you want to play it, that's also fine. There you go. Misogyny. All reasons why I would hate it. But, yeah, that's probably why. Because he didn't finish it either, because he was like, ugh. So. But everybody's got their different shit. I'm just... It's, it's good to showcase those things, but you have to treat them properly, right? You can't just showcase misogyny, for example, since that's what we were talking about, and then applaud it or reinforce it or, you know... That's just, just me. Eh. If you want to do it and then be like, this is bad and this is how you respond to this sort of thing and use it as like an educational instructional thing, that shit's good because it's important to, to have an illustration of how to deal because it happens in life, right? And sometimes it's nice to figure out how to deal with it, how to not normalize it. Postal 2. Yeah. Yeah, I, I feel like... Because I'm a... I kind of straddle the line between neutral and chaotic good. Um, so I feel like I wouldn't have a good time. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I keep hearing that I need to play Red Dead Redemption 2, and I'll probably do that. I was watching some, like, memes, uh, TikTok memes about it, and apparently, like, there's some bigots in there. People are being racist. Um, and you can just, like, you could just kill him. Not that I'm complaining about the death of the bigot, but I feel like that's how I would <laughs> handle those situations. We're going to have a lawful good spree. Oh, I hate shooting and skinning animals. I would, I would not be. I would not be good at that. I do like Suffragette. I have seen, I watched Merlin play through the first Last of Us. And I, I love it. Love it. Love it to pieces. Absolutely. I'm terrified of zombies, but I love watching it. It was so phenomenal. Phenomenal. Don't care for the second game. Mostly because I hate the bait and switch principle that they utilized. Um, I was really not a fan of them advertising the game as being. As involving certain characters and then. Uh, not having that be the case. Chi, did you, re you redeemed a thing, but I didn't see the question. Did I miss it? Reggie's right there. 
Have I read the Drow Tales webcomic series? No, I've never even heard of that before. I like Drow. So it seems likely that I would enjoy them. Um, how do I feel about historical, historically accurate misogyny and racism in video games? Hmm. I get the wanting to depict it the way that it was. But I definitely need the option to be like, now fuck you, dude. You're a bigot. Shut your mouth. I haven't played any of the Telltale games, but I've watched, um, I watched the entirety of uh, The Walking Dead. I watched The Wolf Among Us. Uh, I didn't watch the Game of Thrones one because I've never seen Game of Thrones. Interesting. Yeah, it's difficult because Drow are kind of like copyrighted to R.I. Salvatore or if he licenses it to Watsi, Wizards of the Coast. I did not. Um, I did not continue with Game of Thrones books. I read the first one, but I was so morally affronted by the lack of justice that I. Uh, I put it down. Because I usually read for recreational purposes to either feel better or to have something, you know, even if we're going to have tragedy and bad things happen, conflict, that it gets resolved positively at the end because I'm a baby child and I just want things to be okay in the end. So I'm not saying they're not good. I'm saying that I personally have a problem because I... uh Because I like things to be good in the end. Um, I don't know, honestly, that, about the drow and being copyrighted. It would, it would depend. He may have released it. There may not be any copyright attached to it. I would actually have to look that up. I know we had another truth serum. Let me keep an eye out for that. Yeah, see, like, the world is shitty. I'd much rather, like, have a, a good, happy ending. But that's just me. I understand that life isn't like that. I did not know the drow were included, well, dark elves were included in Norse mythology. I'm going to actually have to look that shit up now. You would think I would know that. I didn't know elves were in Norse mythology, if we're going to be real, real. I always thought it was... Odin y stuff. <laughs> that's awful. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's all I know. I, I'm not really well versed on that subject. Oh my goodness. Really? What? I need to educate myself then, clearly. Really? Oh, Gygax. Dang, I, I clearly need to look more into the Norse mythology then. Yeah, Game of Thrones, I mean, it might be really reflective of reality, but god damn, that depresses me, right? Oh, I hope your class is going well. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Tumblr. <laughs> Everyone's in here with the hot takes. <laughs> Oh my goodness.
epic rap battle is extra as fuck. Oh, thank you. I think she's so cute. She's such a bad bitch. And I love it. Maybe, maybe that's what my neon sign needs to say. Bad bitch energy or something like that. Although I might get in trouble for having a curse word in the background. She looks so nice. I do need to get me one of those sweatshirts though, holy fuck. Thanks for watching. Want more? You can check out these videos, or my stream on Twitch, or cosplay on Instagram, or on OnlyFans. All the links are in the description. So much content, so little time.